okay we we'll learn about action class, which is actually an inbuilt class of Selenium itself. Okay, we are not creating it; it is inbuilt. When you include all these jar files, remember dependencies that we added. When we include all those jar files, automatically those code which is written in those jar files, we can directly use. Okay, so see this. Don't give it to Akka. Okay, that's fine. It will dry. Go. Okay, uh, let's create new class. And that class is for actions class. Okay. We'll create one normal method. And in this method, I'll write in. Now, the actions okay some some of the actions are like mouse actions where you have to do drag and drop you cannot do it using code right how you can do it using code for that you need mouse for example you want to press enter because so many times we fill the form and we press enter you you need keyboard actions for that right to handle these keyboard actions and mouse actions you're gonna need action class okay so i'll show you that but before that let's see um can only be dragged okay no i want drag and drop so okay drag me and drop here okay the moment i drop here the text is getting changed into dropped okay let's do this oh, from here also uh, i can go back and we had this drag and drop right yeah drag and drop Okay, see, if I'm dragging and dropping it, they are changing the positions. So you try with this one, I'll teach you with this one. Okay, let's take this URL. Driver.get. Okay, extends base. And here I'll be writing driver.get. Okay, you wrote this. Now on this website, I have two web elements. What are those web elements? Source and destination. Even though they look like a location, but they are actually on a website. Everything is a web element, right? So one web element is this, which you want to drop here. Okay, and wherever you want to drop it, it is going to be a second web element, right? Source and destination. Okay, so let me create two web elements. I'll say, uh, Ati, mm -hmm. like if, if there is no element, like uh, mm -hmm. if it is blank space, mm -hmm. so how to do that? Like, but how like, do you want to teach your machine that you want to draw, drag and drop it somewhere? Like where? You have to tell your machine, right? We can see it by our uh, eyes, but then your machine does not understand it. You want it to be from here to here, right? Yeah. I don't think so we can do it because how I'm going to tell machine that, okay, three pixels left or three pixels right. I need something. I need something here where I can drag and drop. Now in this, now in this example, there is one, mm. one, one thing dropped. Mm. So you're explaining that if you, mm. you put that drag me to that, Target. that thing. Mm. Yeah. To side, can you move? Like here. So I want to move there and how can I do that? You cannot. Like, because if you are saying here, how are you going to tell them that using pixels, like location y-axis from uh, on the y-axis, you are saying, okay, 1050 pixel from X and 1050 pixel from Y. In this way, you want to move it? Like, how are you going to no. teach your machine? I don't know. I'm just asking. No, that's not possible, right? How you see your machine does not know that in the left side, how much of area is available. Your machine does not know how much you want to shift it left or right your machine does not know you have to tell specifically to your machine so we don't have any inbuilt method which takes coordinates from y-axis or x-axis so that i can tell my machine that okay you have to you have to drag it from here from x-axis thousand pixel and from y-axis thousand pixel i cannot i don't have an inbuilt method to do so in automation the only method is if I have two location, I can drag and drop it like this. That is one thing I can do. This thing is not possible. Anyways, I'll check it. 
let's see if maybe i'm not aware of any method like this okay yeah yeah i don't think like why would someone do that why would someone drag and drop it here like no use right but then still i'll check it i'm not aware of it if, if, if there is if, if uh -huh. there is a, a, this type of web element hmm. then only hmm, drag exactly. it exactly because i can teach my machine properly that okay from here to here where i can tell them where right source and destination is pretty clear in this case make sense okay okay so, okay. so if you click on if you right click on white space you can't get the x path for that no no of course right see they will give you the x path of entire div if you see this is entire div i cannot divide this div again like this division this frame you see which is in the uh, blue color you cannot again divide it into multiple parts this entire div x path i can get that's okay but then in that div again at which side you want to shift it that you don't know now if you see i inspected it there are two containers they are saying one is this one second is the below one oh, okay yeah. okay so it's like this okay either this one or this one right two containers and overall container is this one like i can shift to these containers that's okay i can shift anywhere in these containers okay but not this side i i don't have anything here yeah you getting my point okay and also you can uh, drop on actions drag and drop there is three options yeah like you can do yeah no. i can give it a try but let's see let's see you can <laughs> give it a try but it is of no use but then let's give it a try okay yeah so i need two web elements okay so one web element is your source from where you want to drag and the second web element is your destination where you want to drop okay both the things you have now how you find a web element driver dot find element by dot now by dot depends upon what we have for this element let's see if i inspect it i do not have id hmm. draggable okay this is my id okay this element is my first web element and then this element is second element okay let's find the id of second element also drop it perfect okay and now i have two elements where i know from where i have to start and where i have to put it now we need one extra class to do that action okay and that class is actions class actions xct equals to new actions okay like this so sometimes these things does not get detected by its own so hover over them and then import import what the selenium one okay done now see again it is giving error though it is already imported again it is giving error why because it is asking you that which driver going to do it someone has to do it right so you will pass driver as a parameter okay every time your code going to give you proper reason uh behind the error so read that reason or error message properly you will automatically understand what it is looking for okay now you create it now using this is this is acting as a object an object dot when we do something then we get what actions right methods of this class so this is a class this is a object when we write object dot what happens all the methods of that class we can use right correct yeah. okay so which action i want to use drag drag and drop, and drop. Mm -hmm. so see drag and drop i can do from source they automatically took it but normally you should send from where to where you want to drag and drop okay and then at the end you always have to write these two things build dot perform now why to use this that i'll tell you in 5 minutes okay always start with the action class object use your method and at the end build dot perform that you have to 100% right okay now let's execute it and let's see if it is getting dragged and drop properly or not
No, it didn't work out. Okay, let's wait. Draggable, droppable. Let's put some time there. And let's put some times there also. Let's see what is happening. Now, control shift F. Okay. So, to destination. Yeah, it should work. Why it is not working? Though it is showing that it is working, but it is not. We saw that. Now it worked. Okay, this time it worked. So I think it is taking time to, to detect that element on the screen. Okay, in this way, you can drag and drop it. Another way, if you don't want this one, remove it. Another way is click and hold. Okay, click and hold. Like you're clicking on it and holding it because you want to drop it. So click and hold what? Source element, correct? You gonna click and hold source, and what you gonna release? Release. We have a method release. Okay, release what? Release at. Okay, release ask for where we have to release whatever we have. Yeah, whatever we have at the mouse, or whatever mouse is holding that we can release at destination. So this method also will work in the same way. So in this way we have so many methods, but I'll teach you the important ones. Okay. So done is test and test. Wow. Sometimes it is working, sometimes it is not. Strange. Okay, let's see. Click and hold source, release to destination. Correct. Okay. We'll do one thing. We'll go to base class. Okay. Where is our base class? Here. And we'll maximize the screen. Okay. Our screen was not getting maximized, right? So for that, there is one code. When you open your uh, new Chrome instance, after that, you can write driver dot manage dot window okay and you want it to be maximized okay and after maximize and here before quitting i'll remove this weight for five seconds so control shift f let's clean this code a little bit so what i have done i open the new instance of chrome and then i maximize this screen and after maximizing i'll be waiting for two seconds so that all the things gets loaded properly okay just two seconds simple we'll stop using this thread dot sleep in coming days okay because this is not a right way but for now you will not understand all those ways so i'm using thread dot sleep now base is ready it will maximize my window okay now let's see here drag and drop sometimes it is working sometimes it is not let's see with maximize it should work Okay, it is not working with click and hold, but the same method is working with drag and drop, right? So let me try once again, drag and drop, source to destination, same thing, okay? I'm not doing any changes here. Let's see. Oh, maybe because of the window. Sorry? 
because of the ad uh, this I think so i think so the things are getting hidden right but then it should throw an um, error okay no worries. is is it perform or bill previously you uh that's why bill dot perform bill dot perform that's why it was not working maybe let's see but these are uh, the two things you have to write okay bill dot perform yes akila you saying something okay so let's now execute when i deleted it But at least it should throw an error, no? Hmm. What happened? It was not working. <laughs> it is working, but we we can't see it. I mean, like it is not even showing throwing any error. No, no issues, guys. Just for learning purpose, I am changing the website for now. Okay, we can try it later. It is unnecessary wasting time. But we'll try it on this one. Hmm. i'll check why it is not working okay some and these things happens okay every time these things gonna happen that um, everything will be correct but it will not be happening because of some proper synchronization so don't worry we'll be working with this um, side for now okay this is one website where i can drag and drop it here like this so let's see i'll quickly change the site okay let's see the id of it so id is draggable and droppable okay i think draggable and droppable okay everything same will work let's try it here if the, with this website it will work that means code is correct if something is wrong with that website we'll check that later see after 3 seconds it will drag and drop it here See, worked. Okay. I mean, why like that? Like it, it worked for that website also, right? That I have to check. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe that page. So many times it happens that on UI side, okay, on UI means on website you will see everything, but the background code does not get loaded. Sometimes, mm -hmm. okay. So either you put that much of weight, or you refresh your page after uh, launching it, or after doing some changes. These are some shortcuts that you can use, but for that you have to understand. Uh, why to use this shortcut and where to use it okay but yes this kind of issues mm -hmm. yeah uh, i have one question hmm. so here you mention action uh, act equal new actions driver hmm. so hmm. why why we use driver because to do that action this this is a constructor you remember parameterized constructor yeah. Yeah. so this constructor we have to call which looks for driver i mean like this action can do the action if they know who was a driver of that instance like that chrome instance there can be multiple automation which or code which is executing on a machine right so every automation code will be having different drivers who is driving that automation so you need this driver you need this driver using this driver you can do this action so this is how this is the constructor you have to call simple to do your action parameterized constructor otherwise you can't work because this act will never know who is the driver like for which instance i have to work getting it okay uh, now when we done the drop down hmm. uh, we created uh, what dd something hmm hmm correct and we used that that as a parameter hmm correct because that time it was asking for web element as a parameter this time it is asking for see if you see the definition of action class hover over it and see action class Five. takes the web driver web driver okay. driver okay so always understand what kind of parameters it is asking for it is not asking for web element it is asking for a driver so you have to pass this driver here okay when we use actions class your code itself will start giving you error if i'll remove it see it will give you error when you hover over it it will ask you that add an argument to match the action web driver so what is web driver here driver yeah correct so driver okay and and dot 
build uh, hmm. like what hmm. is the build that I'll like this yeah that I'll, tell you. Okay. that I'll tell you okay let's remove this for now and let's try with click and hold the same thing okay same code and same everything click and hold oh, hold source. web element which web element source. source okay we are holding it and then we are releasing it so raising it to target oh sorry what is the target Not test. yeah destination dot build dot perform okay let's do the same thing on this website see this one also worked okay in this way drag and drop you can do it in two ways now, in the same way, you were asking me, uh, what is the reason between build and perform, right? What this build does is, it builds the entire list of actions as a one action. See, today I added this action, click and hold. After that, I added release, okay? In this way, I can keep adding hundreds of methods here, right? So, if someone needs to build it as a one entity and then it will perform it. Okay, and that's why you have to write build dot perform. So internally, what code they have written that I not like. I don't worry about that. But this build is necessary to build this as a one single entity and then perform it. Okay, so I can right click and hold, release, and then scroll up, scroll down, then wait. So all those methods, I can create a list of all the methods, sequence of methods. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in the same way. Let's see. Let me comment it. Okay, these two things. I'll comment. Let's see uh, some more actions. So, for example, uh, Aarti, uh, yeah. for if there is a uh, one source and uh, there won't be any multiple or only one destination. Then depends, right? On your page. Suppose you have to. Someone says, okay, drag and drop the PDF, like uh, upload image or upload, or let's see. Um, change word to pdf something like this to have suppose okay word to pdf converter so here either i can choose the file or i can drag and drop it so from where i'm gonna drag and drop it from my machine to this this section right so most of the time you're gonna have only one location not multiple okay in very rare cases you're gonna have multiple but then according to your website or according to your situation take the decision Okay. If you come across that kind of website uh, and you you face issue, let me know. Yep. Okay. So now I'll show you a few more uh, actions here. The second action is mouse hover. Okay. Mouse hover means suppose. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me see. Am I getting anything? Okay. Hmm. See this. When I hover over this button, I'm getting this, right? You hovered over the button. This thing I'm getting, correct? But I can't, can't inspect it. Why can't I inspect it? Because the moment I take my mouse cursor somewhere else, that thing gets vanished from the screen, right? So how to stop this? Like in this section also, if I have to enter this, uh, enter something and if i have this tooltip someone asked me or my lead asked me that go and check all the tooltip text how i'm gonna verify it i am not even able to inspect it correct so for that you have to freeze your window okay freeze your screen now how to freeze your screen i'll tell you inspect it okay inspect it once you inspect it go to sources under sources you see this button this button is for freezing or stopping the, your screen's execution. So let me click on it. See, if I clicked on it, now my screen is paused completely. If I'll do anything, see, I'm trying to click on it. Nothing is happening, correct? So, but the problem here is, even if I'll try to click on this button, I'm moving my cursor. 
right? Again, that thing will get, like my screen will get paused after that thing got erased from the screen, right? So in that case, how to do it? So see, my uh, keys to pause the screen is F8, see F8 and command and slash. Okay, for you guys, if you are on Windows, you have to press F8 and slash. Okay, check this, inspect something on your screen, go to source and check this button key. So if you see F8, you see this, right? Yeah. F8 command and slash, that is nothing but my com key combinations using which I can freeze my screen without moving this cursor from here. So see, if I'll keep my cursor like this, now I'm pressing F8 command and slash. Sorry, reverse slash, I think I press. Okay. See, it got paused. Okay, now I can inspect it easily. Now I can go and inspect it. Correct? Getting it? I mean, how, how you ca capture this? Uh, F8? By pressing F8, command and slash. For me, it is F8, command and slash. You first inspect your screen. I mean, like, mm -hmm. right click and inspect, go to source, and then hover over this button, and you will get to know the button's combination okay. for you. So for me, this okay. is F8, command and slash. For you, most probably, it should be F8, or control F8, slash. Mm -hmm. okay. So check that. So let me do it again. Let me do it for this text box. Let's see. Um, command f8 and slash okay see done in this way i can freeze my screen and now i can inspect it but now what i'm doing i'm not clicking on this tooltip on i'm not doing anything what i have done i took my mouse cursor on this text box and that's why i got this tooltip but how to so you it? leave the mouse cursor on there you hover over it yeah, yeah okay yeah. i kept it there i didn't move it to press on that button because I knew mm -hmm. that if I'll move it, this thing will get uh, closed, right? This tooltip will get closed. So I kept yeah. the mouse cursor here itself and using the keyboard key combination, I deb uh, sorry, I paused my screen. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone else, you guys getting it? Yeah. Okay. Now let's see. Now what, what action I have done? I am trying to move my cursor on the uh, this text field. So for that, I have one method, move to element, okay, in action class. So let's see, in action class, I can say dot, okay, dot, move to element. And what is that element? We haven't created that element yet, right? So let's see. Text area equals to driver not find element by dot id and this so what is my text area um here this one let's open the xpath of it id equals to two tooltip field okay see okay so i'll comment these two web elements for now because we are not doing drag and drop and i'll change the website also Well, let's keep this website for your reference and let me change to this is my website for now you getting my point now we will be working on this website with this text area so web element text area let's put some semicolon here and i'll tell my tell my uh, mouse to go and Take the cursor to this element. Move to this element means take the cursor to that element. Remaining everything is same. Okay. Now see. If I'm moving it to this text area, what I'm trying to do after moving it to the text area, I'm trying to read the text. Read the tooltip text. Now where is that tooltip text? String tooltip Okay, suppose T3, that is my text. But how my driver gonna get it? Driver dot find element by dot xpath 
and let's see let's find the x path of this tooltip what is the x path of this tooltip class tooltip inner okay let's see Dave. Hmm. Class. Hmm. See, there is only one. Okay, perfect. This X path will work. Okay, cool. Everything done and dot get text. Get text. Okay. And this thing we will print on the screen. Or we can put on assertion also, but this is out. Okay, so what thing should get printed? You hovered over the text field. This thing should get printed on the screen. If it is getting printed, that means move to element worked properly. Correct? Yeah, so let's do it. You understood the sequence here? I found only one element where I have to hover. I told my mouse to move to that element. And once you moved, after that, wait for three seconds, tooltip will come, you read the text of the tooltip, and then do the sysout. So instead of this thread or sleep, I can do this. You can put wait here at the end before closing. Okay, let's execute it. Okay, it got failed because that tooltip element was, was not on the screen. So give me a minute. After moving to this element, I can wait. I think this will be needed here also. After moving to element, wait for three seconds, tooltip will come, then you go for this. Okay, let's try this. Okay, again failing, let's see. No such element, which element? Draggable. Oh, of course. See, tooltip came. Now it will read that and it will print it on the screen. So let's see if it prints that on the screen or not. Yeah, perfect. See, you hover over the text field. So in this way, you can verify the text. So how we verify it? Instead of printing, I could have done did this. Remember, assert equals? Assert equals. Correct. So what is the first thing? T3. T3. What is expected? This thing. I'll copy paste from here only now. So if it is matching with expectation, your code will pass, otherwise your code will fail. So this thing also you can do. Actually, you should do this only. What you will do by printing it on the screen, that is just for training purpose, I do that so that you can see that output on the screen. But normally automation, we don't print anything on screen. Okay, see, the same thing. Your code got passed means your assertion was right. Cool? Yeah. Okay, in this way, we'll do, we saw two things, drag and drop, two ways, move to element, one way. Okay, total three. One more thing which people ask in interview most of the time is what is context click? What is context click is right click, okay? Anywhere on the screen when you right click, that is actually context click. So if you see, Let's see, if I right click on this element. No, I'm not getting any elements, right? One second. Okay, in the same element, yeah. If I right click and open it in new tab. Okay, before this, let's do double click, okay? Oh, control shift F. 
ಇಷ್ಟ ಆರೈತಿ ಇಂಟರಾಕ್ಷನ್ okay let's try this most of the time this does not work but then still let's give it a try and like 90% of the time 90 or no, 95% of the time you're not going to use that context click but still let's see let's try to hover over this in, uh, this link and try to open it in new tab okay like this new tab so how to do that using context click so we'll change the url again and we'll say okay this is not the one this time we need something else driver dot get oh my screen got freezed why Hmm, okay on this also we have it right so control c what's wrong hmm. no see this on this machine what i'm trying to do sorry on this uh, website what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to find any text area but i'm trying to find what link so what is my link web element link to which you going to do right click right this is a link to which you going to right click so let me inspect let me see if it is inside any frame or what so no so this link i can click using this h tag image okay i'm changing no 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 i am giving this this is image you see the small small window here this is image but we are not interested in image we are interested in link so we'll go for this one so we'll go for id copy okay and on this link what i am trying to do i'm trying to move over that link first okay first i'll move to that link and then what i will right. do the context click okay context, context click. click either i can do it directly like direct right click because i'm already moved to that element or if you want to say that okay do the context click on this link this is also okay so let me comment this one let's try with this the direct way okay if this does not work then we'll move to that element and then we'll do the context click both the things are same after that what after context click i want to wait for 3 seconds so that i'll see if that right click worked or not so instead of 3 i'll make it 5 and all these things are not useful now so 3 here 5 here no need sorry the code is getting messy i know but then we can't keep creating the classes okay so see this is how your code is looking first you will go to that website then you found that link on which you have to do the right click and to do the right click you have one action object using that you are doing context click on that link that means right click on that link build dot perform and uh, after build dot perform you are waiting for 5 second perfect let's see i never used right click never till now 
Mm-hmm. But in interviews, they ask, so that's why I have to see. Right click, worked. Okay. In this yeah. way, you will do the right click. Now let's see double click. This is also something people ask. Sometimes what people ask. So for double click, let's see. We have double click method also. Okay, directly. But on which element I'll do double click? This element. Why? No use. But guys, you understood, right? There are so many methods available. Just directly use it. I'm telling you important methods. Move to element. Drag and drop. Drag and drop in two ways. Right click for that context click. Okay, and double click. Mm-hmm. And mouse hover. People will ask for mouse hover. So because they expect answer like hover or something, hover, hover, whatever you want to call. But then actually there is no methods like hover. Okay, to hover over any element, you have to use move to element. They just check your um, uh, like how much you worked on these action classes. So make sure you answer properly. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Arti, uh, before you removed uh, move to element. Uh, mm-hmm. In the bracket, there is a mm-hmm. link. Mm-hmm. So before you used uh, text text area. Text area, yeah, this one yes, correct. You want okay. to you want me to copy paste it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll and the text, area. text area. Don't worry, just five lines of code, uh, Praveen. Five lines of code. Uh, Hit um, and do the action. Hit do the action. That's all. Okay. Still, this code is complete, okay? So now, mouse actions are almost over. Like, there's very rare mouse actions that is pending. What else What else you do? Scroll and all, right? But to do mm-hmm. scroll and all, um, we have keyboard actions also. So let me show you how to do scroll using keyboard action. These are all mouse actions, okay? We have seven minutes, but in that seven minutes, I'll show you how to do keyboard action using action class. I'll create the exact copy of it Action class one, copy, new class. Sorry, I copied it. Paste it. Action class two. Okay. This action class two is for keyboard actions. Okay. Everything is same. What we'll do? Instead of doing double click and all those things, I'll remove it. Okay. I'll remove this also. We don't need this. And I'll remove this also, dummy data. Going to shift. The keyboard buttons or? What for? Uh, yeah, for scrolling down with the keyboard. Yes. It's page how you up, page down. up and page down. Yes, page down, page up, all these things. So how to how to press something from a keyboard using action class that we are learning now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So suppose I'm on this page. I don't need this link, that long link also. I don't even have to wait for some elements. So entire code is code got erased. Lovely. Um, what I'll do, I'll go on this website interaction. Okay, demo QA interaction. When did I close it? I didn't close it, right? Okay. Last. Anything, yeah, open anything, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, suppose this is a page, okay? The mo- the first time when you open your page, your scroll is up, right? Then your scroll is going to be at the down of the, correct? So let's, let's, it is getting maximized directly. Okay, let me change it to this URL, okay? And using action class, how to handle it? ACT dot, okay, dot what? Send keys we are sending some key element from the keyboards and after that there is one keys class okay keys keys class of cell name in that we have all the keys so which key i want to press page Page down page up or uh, maybe there is one page end also so let's try this yeah try this page end okay so it will it will take your page to the end of the screen so end Mm -hmm. let's try this dot build dot perform and then wait for some time so that we'll see if the school got at the end of the screen or not so 2000 and this so control shift f this is your code let's execute it in this way you can press any number of keys anytime and from anywhere okay see 
it got end it got at the end of the screen okay the other thing which i want to do suppose i am on this element i clicked on this element after that if i press tab i am coming on this element so so many times it happens that you are trying to inspect this element but there is no proper xpath or id so no need of finding xpath find the xpath of this element and then do tab this is also okay correct so to do that i'll first find the very first element so driver dot find element by dot id don't have id this is the input field guys okay this is the input field and then id is auto complete menu okay perfect this is my element i'll put this in one web element input one field okay from this input one field first i'll click on that input one field right so how to click c l a c t okay multiple times dot i have written dot click on web element so which web element input one once i clicked on it after that what i want to do i want to send the keys which send keys you want to send not end this time you are trying to send tab yeah okay and then build out perform simple guys just just follow the sequence properly that's all now let's see if it comes and, okay and after the website hmm no website is, the... i haven't changed oh this one no 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 you put it in the quotes no no the... mm -hmm. okay 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 and let's do one thing after coming on the second tab will send the extra keys like extra data what is that data suppose this okay and then we'll wait so let's try this that means we successfully reach to the second field if this text gets entered in the second field because if you will click on first field then tab and this perfect mm -hmm. yeah. so in this way you can do any keyboard actions there are hundreds of actions okay no need of learning all the things whenever time like whenever you need just use it yeah. in that sequence but simple for keyboard actions you have to use send keys of course because you're going to send the data from your keyboard and then this is a keys class that you have to use if you want to use any and not only tab like single uh, keys if you press dot here you can see backspace up alt uh -huh. uh in fact multiple combination of keys also see function keys home button uh multiply numpad everything and after that um in fact you can press multiple combination of tab also i don't know where is it uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. these methods are not useful don't worry okay these basic methods are important instead you okay that multiple combination of keys i'll tell you later Okay. Suppose Control V, Control C, you do right for copy pasting. Control plus C and Control plus V. That also you can do. So key CTRL. Okay, one second. On my MacBook, I think it worked differently. Command. Okay. Command. There is Control also. Hmm. Control for you guys, Windows people. Okay. Uh -huh. How you do? Control plus. V no. Some key combinations you have to do. Don't worry about this. It's simple. I'll try you that and later. and control and, and unit. No no. Oh, not like this. No. There is a direct method for that. So I have to check it. I forgot the syntax of it. But it is something like this. Okay. It does not give error. But now it is giving error. But so let it be. But this is how combination of keys also you can use. For now, I'll make it back to tab. Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any doubts here? Look at these two classes together, please. Uh, hmm. 
look at these classes together and tell me if you have any doubts. Okay, so everything is same. Just make sure you read the method properly. What it is asking for. If it asking for web element, then transfer web element. If it asking for something else, give that thing. There will be few methods which will not be asking for anything. Then don't like, um, like click. Click is a method which is not asking you for any input. Like where you want to click. There is one more click. Okay, which does not ask you for data. So don't provide the data. Simple. Understood everything yeah. about action class, but remember yeah. only these five methods. Okay, don't go for that extra thousand methods. Nobody asks that. Nobody uses that. Okay, first is mm -hmm. drag and drop, mouse hover, right click, double click. Four thing. Then people will be asking you how you wanna uh, scroll your window, like how you scroll your window. For that, you can see using action class, we can do page up, page down, and all. Okay, and uh, if they will be asking you about how to press enter key and all, you can say the same thing. Using send keys, keys class is there, and in that class, multiple methods are there, or multiple keys are there that we can use. Yep. Ati, hmm. uh, I want to share the screen. Okay, one second.